Uh, in this video we're looking at the, um, the new insertion of uh, water devices along with uh, symbols as selected in the data set. So we'll go into install product and you'll notice the new user interface, the new UI um, and then click on water device here and you'll see there's a list of water devices uh, in the data set that's picking up and we can choose a tap for instance and then look at data set properties and you'll see that you can now choose a symbol from the symbol library whichever one it is there's these two selected here um, you can choose two symbols for a double tap um, this is for like a WC where you've got one single outlet so I'm going to have just one single symbol you can see that it greys out the um, function to put a symbol in for a second one if it's only a single uh, outlet uh, or single connector on the family which this is. So I'll install the tap here first, press OK and it'll load the product in. You can see the new UI here as well, you can choose various settings like the loading units or connector locations uh, as you go so I might just do the bottom there, press OK and then just drop the device in there then press OK and then you can see it's installed the tap with the uh, symbol as requested and then we can go on to do a single outlet which is like a WC connection this one's a dummy connection that's why there's no 3D image and then we'll just install that press spacebar to rotate as normal in Revit and um, we'll just stick that there like so and then apply and finish and you can see there that's the connection there. So we can now install uh, all water devices with uh, corresponding uh, symbols from our symbol library and of course like ever you can create your own user library of symbols as well should you wish to, uh, to do that as well. Thank you for listening.